Hello everyone, in this today video uh, we are going to talk about the Infuray T2L model uh, with some test uh, unboxing and specifications so let's see what's inside the box Instruction manuals with some basic information about the product, uh, how to install, how to download, how to use uh, the focus ring, some specifications. Product certificate. USB-C extension cable in case if you want to use it with the holder inside the box there is a case which contains the T2L this is the T2L the body is constructed of metal no plastic feels very good the focus ring has a very nice resistance t2l is priced between the t2 search and the p2 uh, all three have the exact same resolution but they're different for, they're designed for slightly di uh, different things uh, the t as you will see in the test the, the T2L is well suited for uh, SMD short circuit detection. As you can see in this side by side comparison, you can see the sizes of the P2, T2L, and the T3S with a resolution of uh, 256 by 192, also 256 by 192 and 384 by 288 resolution of course price are also increasing as the resolution and capabilities goes up so let's have a look at the specifications quickly on this one and after that we are going to do some test field tests outside inside the house Let's get to it. Computer, initiate assembly. Transfer complete. Mm, nice. Feels good in the hand. Computer, beam me outside. Unable to comply. Ah, damn. I have to walk then. Well, let's see what this camera can do. In this part, you will see how easy and how clear it is to find any short circuit on a motherboard, even if it's just a tiny little one millimeter or half millimeter uh, capacitor or any SMD component, uh, you can immediately see and clearly see where is the problem. Most people will look for this camera for exactly the same purpose and you can even use it for um, iPhone logic board repairs 
because you can see every tiny little component in high details you will see exactly which component is damaged trying to show some different color palette options
this part, you can see the sparking a lot with much greater details uh, because this was made during the daytime and most of the objects and materials heats up different ways, absorbs the heat different ways and then uh, you can see a much greater detail when the temperature difference between the objects is greater. Uh, if everything would have the, the exact same temperature, you would not see anything on the screen. You would just see one color and that's it. That's, that's why sometimes the image is not so clear on some places, in some circumstances. That's because the temperature difference is not so big. Thank you. 